Okay, so this is my analysis of the Jigsaw poster for my um, media blog. Um, let's start off with the colours and the images. Um, first of all, we have the grey. Um, now, the grey is a very prominent colour on this poster, and I think that it, it links to the sad themes and the, the darker themes that are in this, this, um, this film. Um, I also think it stands for um, the person, the main... Um, the main character, the antagonist, Jigsaw, who um, he feels as though he's doing good by testing these people and their wills for survival, when in reality he's actually a psychotic murderer. Um, but he sticks by his morals, so he's sort of... There's a line between whether he's actually a good guy or a bad guy, because he's trying to do the right thing. He's trying to show people what they can do with their wills to, to survive, and things like that. Um, but he is tainted, and that's why it's grey rather than a white, I think. There's also sort of a uh, greyish hue over the top of the poster, sort of like cold lighting. And I think that the place where these these murders tend to take place are quite cold, they're quite dark, they're quite... Um, you know, you have low spirits when you're going through one of his games, and it can be very scary, and I think that that sort of reflects the sadness within the film, the depression, and um, all of that. Um, I also think it reflects the character in the way where he's doing this because of his son Gideon getting killed by a drug addict. Um, the drug addict was being uh, was in therapy with his wife, um, and he ended up killing their unborn baby. So he was taught a lesson because of that, um, and that's where he got the idea from, the will to survive, the will to uh, do things right in the world, basically. Uh, so I think that reflects that as well. Then you've got the, the black. Now the black is um, probably, it usually has connotations of death and darkness, and the pig mask is what Jigsaw wears and his accomplices wear when they go and pick up victims. So, in my opinion, this is sort of um, the darkness um, of the character and the the fact that he is the bringer of death. If you see this pig mask, you're probably going to die. Um, yeah, not many do survive, so there you go. Um, yeah, and it's also, it has connotations of dark themes, which there are plenty of in Jigsaw. Um, absolutely brilliant film. Although, the the poster itself, actually, I think it mis-sold mis the the film. Uh, you see, in this, in this poster, it says, Become Jigsaw, and these were the first um, posters that were released. But... Um, the actual film was about um, something quite different to that. Um, now, I won't say because uh, I don't know what you like to watch, but I know that if someone told me the ending of it and I, I hadn't watched it, I would be very upset. So I won't say the ending, but it, it does missell the film, which is a bit strange for a film poster, um, really. But few uh, posters after this one did vaguely sell it correctly. Well, correctly in air quotations. Um, then we have Red. Now, Red is um, the title and uh, the Become Jigsaw. Uh, I don't really know where they were going with that marketing campaign. I had nothing to do with the film, really, but hey. Um, but Red has connotations of blood. It has connotations of danger. Jigsaw is in red. Jigsaw stands for j danger. You know, if you meet Jigsaw, you're probably going to die. And if you don't die, you're probably going to be in danger because you'll probably become an accomplice and then you'll be in danger anyway. So, yeah, that's, that's the sort of theme it's giving off here. Danger, depression, sadness, dark themes. That is all that's it's packed in here. Um, now we have the, uh, the images. This pig head is a... Um, it's a theme throughout the the Saw series. Um, in Saw two, uh, no three, I believe it it comes up first, um, where they they sort of introduce the pig mask and it's it's very iconic, really, a bit of iconography for the for the series. 
um, as I was saying before. So that's in there sort of for fans and I think a bit, pigs aren't exactly the most beautiful animals and the mask does look a bit dodgy. So if you went up to this poster and you'd never seen any of the Saw series, bearing in mind that this is sort of the revival of the Saw series, you'd be a bit like, oh, what's that about? I kind of want to find out what that is. And you'd, you'd go, probably, if you like that sort of thing. Um, yeah. There's also, um, for the writing now, we've got the writing, there we go. The font is uh, sans serif, it's quite easy to read. Uh, it actually seems to be quite spaced out. There's quite a lot of space between the letters and I think that makes it a bit more enigma enigmatic. It's sort of, uh, you're a bit like, oh, what's going on here? It's also what the title in the trailer looks like as well. So yeah, um, that fits there. Um, you've got the logos down here and down here. Um, so you've got the Twitter, Facebook logos down on the right here. Um, showing that you can get involved. You've got Twisted Pictures, which is the production company, Lionsgate, which is the distributor, and the rating there, which is R, uh, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. And you've got Halloween, which is um, a good time for a horror film to come out. You expect to be scared at Halloween. So therefore, a lot of a lot of, um, a lot of horror things come out at Halloween. And it actually came out on the 27th. Um, then you've got Hashtag Jigsaw. Now, hashtag Jigsaw stands for the hashtag of the film. So if you wanted to talk about the film, uh, you follow up with that hashtag and, and people who like the film could see it, people who, who wanted to know a bit more about the film can see it, and that's all great. Yeah, brilliant. Um, it doesn't actually have a tagline of sorts, but the title here links into the tagline. So Become Jigsaw is the tagline, which makes you think, oh. Does that mean we're going to have a new Jigsaw, a new accomplice who's taken over him? Because um, obviously he dies in the third one, so you're like, oh, right, okay, um, who, who could it be? Um, and you see who the new accomplice is, it starts wondering, does everyone know about this? Has this become a sort of underground operation of people who follow Jigsaw and his morals? Um, you know, and it, it sort of makes it a bit more personal to you if you know about the series, and it's, it's a bit... Ooh, um, yeah. And that, I believe, is it.